Have you ever seen an ugly meteorite in front of you? Well, if you haven't, a meteorite is the ugly rock that is now appearing on your screen. These rocks travel for miles before they fall to Earth. What you may not know is that a meteorite can be worth millions of dollars. And because they can fall randomly anywhere on the surface of the Earth, you could wake up in the morning and find one in your backyard. And it's these stones that we're going to talk about in today's video, because I'm sure you're going to want to know how to recognize one of these when you find one lying around. Because a meteorite can be worth more than you think. Take a look at this example. Have you ever seen anything like it? Maybe it's not one of the most beautiful stones you've ever seen, but still, this little 77 gram specimen costs the equivalent of $12,800. I think you realize that this is no ordinary stone, don't you? Of course not, but what must it be? What must be so special about it that it is so expensive? But even though they are rare, these are rocks that can be found practically everywhere on Earth. They look like ordinary rocks, but they are actually extremely rare minerals that, depending on their chemical composition, can be worth a lot of money. But what are the characteristics you need to know to identify a suspicious rock? Well, this rock is a lunar meteorite, which means it came from the moon. So is this other, slightly larger rock, which weighs 363 grams and is valued at about $45,500. Moon rocks are highly prized and admired by collectors around the world, which can significantly increase their value. It's fascinating how these fragments from the moon can be found all over the Earth because they don't follow a specific pattern. They just fell here. Lunar meteorites and other space rocks have the same minerals found on Earth, but in unique combinations that don't exist in terrestrial rocks. In addition, some of these rocks may contain minerals unknown on Earth, adding to their fascination. Lunar meteorites arrive on our planet as a result of meteor impacts on the Moon. With no air or atmosphere, the meteors hit the lunar surface with full force, ejecting fragments and millions of pieces of rock into space. From time to time, some of these fragments end up here on Earth, giving us the opportunity to study and admire these real pieces of the Moon. One of the largest lunar meteorites weighs about 13.5 kilograms and is valued at about $2.5 million. Due to the density of these rocks, they don't have to be very large to reach high weights and therefore high values. But the most important question, and the one that may have piqued your interest in this video, is how do you know if the strange rock you found could be a meteorite? Here's a handy list of tips to help you determine whether the rock you found is a terrestrial rock or a meteorite from the moon or another world. Meteorites are generally metallic rocks composed of a combination of iron and nickel. Although they may look like ordinary rocks, they have unique characteristics. First, their weight. A rock composed almost entirely of iron will be nearly three times heavier than a terrestrial rock of the same size. So be careful if you find something too heavy. Another important thing is its appearance. A meteorite, being something extraterrestrial, will not look like the rocks in the area. It will be unique without many or any similar rocks nearby. Although there are heavy rocks on Earth, such as those derived from iron ore and those with dark or metallic colors, such as hematite, these terrestrial rocks don't appear in isolation. If you find one, you're likely to find many similar ones in the same region. This is not the case with meteorites. They are solitary, and finding one usually means there aren't many others around. Don't mistake any strange dark rock for a meteorite. We have many such strange terrestrial rocks. But if you try to break a rock and notice some crystallization, the chances of it being a meteorite drop considerably. Meteorites are metallic rocks that look like polished iron when you grind them, and they are also attracted to magnets. There are rocks on Earth that are attracted to magnets, such as hematite, but as I said, these are common rocks. You'll probably find many others nearby, and you certainly won't find another meteorite-like rock nearby. Another important point, according to meteorite expert Elizabeth Zuccolato, is that if a rock is metallic but not attracted to a magnet, there is almost a 99% chance that it is not a meteorite, but some kind of terrestrial ore. This is because 99% of meteorites have distinctive characteristics that distinguish them from terrestrial rocks. Two of these main characteristics are regmaglites and flow lines. Regmaglites are indentations found on some meteorites. Imagine holding a piece of clay in your hand and then squeezing it with your fingers, leaving deep marks. This is how regmaglites are formed 
due to the melting of metal that occurs when the meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere. That's why terrestrial rocks don't have them, because they don't have to pass through an atmosphere. Another feature to look for are flow lines, which look like small dry streams on the surface of the rock, or like melted candle trails, and can be visible or even microscopic. Like reg maglites, they are formed by the partial melting of the meteor's outer layer as it enters the Earth's atmosphere, which means you'll never see these two features in terrestrial rocks because they don't have this type of formation. If you can search the internet for photos and videos, everything will be easier because after viewing many photos and videos of meteorites, you will learn to recognize these striking features. And if you have a suspicious rock, it's worth having it tested. When in doubt, watch this video and the one below, which shows step-by-step step how to identify a meteorite. Because sometimes you may have found a meteorite and don't even know it. So before you sell it. First, make sure it's an authentic rock. Chondrite meteorites are the most common and can be sold on websites for around $5 per gram. However, a lunar meteorite or very rare specimens can be worth more than $1 million, depending on the correct analysis of the material. So to confirm authenticity, follow the step-by-step -step instructions and, if necessary, send a sample to a national museum in your area for testing. In many universities, you can also take tests to determine if the stone is authentic or not, as well as to estimate the rarity and value of your meteorite. Now, I'm sure that after watching this video, you, like me, will probably start looking at all the strange stones you find out there differently. After all, who knows when your lucky day will come? I hope it's today. Also, if you like gemstones and would like to delve deeper into this subject, be sure to buy our Gemology for Beginners book by clicking the first link in the description or by watching other videos here on the channel. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Good luck, gem hunters.